Hello, and welcome to the AMA Steps Forward podcast series. We'll hear from healthcare leaders nationwide about real world solutions to the challenges that practices are confronting today. Solutions that help put the joy back into medicine. AMA Steps Forward program is open access at stepsforward.org. Hello, and welcome to this brief episode in the AMA Steps Forward podcast series. I'm your host, Dr. Kevin Hopkins, a family medicine physician at Cleveland Clinic and physician director of health system engagement here at the AMA. Today, I'll share a quick pearl from our Steps Forward team. 38.4 million. That number represents the 11.6% of all Americans who have diabetes, according to the CDC. As the obesity rate in our country has neared 50%, Roughly half of the population has diabetes or prediabetes. And while the prevalence of diagnosed diabetes has increased significantly over the past decade due to screening, it's estimated that there are 7.5 million adults in the U.S. who are diabetic and don't know it. CMS first started covering diabetes screening with a fasting blood glucose test in 2005, making testing available to Medicare beneficiaries at risk for diabetes. And in 2024, coverage of diabetes screening was expanded to include hemoglobin A1c testing and an increased frequency from one test per year to two tests per year for all Medicare patients at risk for diabetes. Naturally, using an A1c is more convenient for patients since the test doesn't require fasting. Screening is critical for identifying patients with prediabetes and diabetes and motivating them to make therapeutic lifestyle changes. Check out the episode description for links to relevant tools and resources that can help. Thank you for listening to this episode from the AMA Steps Forward podcast series. AMA Steps Forward program is open access at stepsforward.org. Steps Forward can help put the joy back into medicine by offering real world solutions to the challenges that your practice is confronting today. We look forward to you joining us next time on the AMA Steps Forward podcast series. StepsForward.org.